Several companies will continue getting tax breaks despite not living up to their promises to create or retain jobs in the Lafayette area. Julie Kreisen joins us now with why the Development Commission rather approved those abatements. Julie? Well, Nicole, the commission voted all the companies in compliance, even though not all of them reached their goals for a 10-year abatement period. But Lafayette Mayor Tony Rozworski says the economy should be taken into consideration. I feel that it's critically important that we stand uh, by our companies during this difficult economic period. Company representatives address the challenges they're facing. Kirby Risk Manufacturing President Doug Mansfield says business has fallen more than 50 percent since November. We've had to do employee adjustments uh, three times this year. I've done four in my career of 38 years and three this year. So it's a very unusual situation. We've lost uh, great people. Oscar Winsky financial advisor Roger Carnes says out of the 102 year history in Lafayette this year was the first time they've ever had to cut jobs. It's a situation where we need your help, need the city of Lafayette's help. But even with the downturn in the economy some businesses are faring well. We had several like Liquid Spring, McKinney Corporation, several others hands and cold storage that actually exceeded their goals and exceeded them quite significantly. So there's still some positive even in this hard economy right There now. absolutely is. And the other bright spot is, is most folks actually exceeded their, their, um, their wages, what they were estimating they would be paying in total for employees. That means some companies may have less employees, but are actually paying those employees they do have more. Mayor Rozorski says if the tax breaks are taken away, it would further hurt already struggling businesses. It would send the wrong message to those businesses for future growth, future expansion, and the wrong message to any other companies look at lo locating in our community. The Lafayette City Council will have the final vote for approval at its June meeting. Julie Kreisen, News Channel 18.